G'day guys, um, this is one of those help me if you can videos, I haven't done one of these before ever. This is the speed control or the ESC out of a DJI Inspire 1. Now the V1, V2 they're both the same speed controller so that doesn't cause any drama. Here's the problem that I've got though is these things went underwater. Now the rest of the machine's up and running. Um, dried it out with some um, some um, demineralized water and then flushed it with alcohol and then flushed it with contact cleaner and it's been through the reel. And I mean the flight controller and everything else works perfectly. But these ESCs don't. And I've put some other ESCs in the machine and they work. So I mean they could be dead. But even so, I tried to test the other ESCs that do work and I come up with the same result. So I'm still on the same boat. So here's the deal. This is the LED that sits out on the arm and it pops in this little three pin connector here. I'll try and not get my fat hands in here, but I might have to. There we go. There we go. So pop that in. That should, by my uh, book of rules, when I hook 22 volts up here, that should light up or flash or do something. It doesn't. <clears throat> it doesn't do anything. This is the five pin connector that comes down from the flight controller. Now I've messed with a lot of drones and model airplanes. This is 45 years of doing this stuff. So it's not new but it's certainly different. What we have in here is we have a red, black, red wire and then we have a white and a grey into this five pin plug. Now I'm only assuming that the reds and the black are probably the PWM which even still doesn't make sense to me because PWM only needs one wire so why two red ones that's got to be kind of snookered a little bit the, the black I can understand that's going to be ground or earth whichever way you like to call it now I've set that up so it can go into a, a JR style plug and then I use it to hook up to this thing which is just a simple speed control uh, tester uh, sorry a servo tester but it, even so it's a PWM output um, little controller and it works perfectly and it does you know I can test every goddamn damn you see on the planet I think except these things so if I plug this little bugger in here again try not to get my hands in the way which will there we go, that, perfect. I can put a PWM signal down either of those red wires and I can keep that black one as neutral, I will ground, sorry, there's no neutral on this. But I've still got these other two wires left over, grey and white. And I'm just, I'm buggered as to what they do. No matter what I do here, if I hook the 22, 22 volts up, there's no beep. Uh, there's no, you know, the DJI beep 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 sound, none of that. I mean, I suppose that's controlled from the flight controller to an extent as well. And no LED flashing, no nothing. Uh, so what I'm looking for is if there's someone out there that's a whole lot smarter than me, and that won't be very hard, don't get me wrong, that can come up with some way of a test board. I mean, even if I've got to build a, my own little circuit board and, you know, hook it up to a, a, a PWM output device like this thing, or what, you can buy these anywhere, two bucks in China, and work out what the hell to do with these wires here. Where do these go? What are they? You know, surely there's someone out there that's got some some ill-gotten gained experience through DGI or whatever but damn this can't be impossible and I mean I know some guys one guy's writing, writing to the other he's got 12 of these in the bucket motors and ESCs and can't test them if you send them back to DGI they tell you no we don't test them we just chuck them away and buy a new one well I'm sorry that's you know I understand they're a semi-professional device but they're not that bloody professional you know, 
and you know surely in the hobby level we there should be some way to get in there and, and sort these things out and say well that's a dud throw it away or you know there are places you can buy these ESCs so they're hell of a hard to come by or at least tell me that the motor's dead and the ESC's dead and I'll throw it in the damn rubbish but um, right now I've got no idea so please guys if there's anyone out there that can throw some light at this and what I would need to build and you know build a give me a schematic or tell me what I need and, and I'll make it and then if we can test these things I'll share it with everybody because there has to be literally dozens of people out there who have uh, had trouble with ESCs and the only way to fix it is just is throw them away and you're probably throwing away perfectly good gear so there we are guys <clears throat> sorry I got the man flu so she's been a tough day but uh, anyway let's see what we can get out of this thank you very much in advance